Shalom, 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 Yashavrala and Yahuda. Wrapped in Gentiles to the body of Hamashiach. We praise Yahuwah for the witness. The Ruach HaKodesh, the water and the blood, listening to none other than Hezekiah. The song is entitled, The Flood Came, 28 and 54. I don't own the rights to this music. Abba Yahuwah, I give you praise right now in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach. Abba Yahuwah, I pray that you would buy the Ruach HaKodesh that's from, that flows from my belly, that you would bring living water, word, anointed word from my lips. Abba Yahuwah, may I not cause anyone to stumble, anyone to be turned out of the way. Abba Yahuwah, I'm believing you for your word, the manifestation of light. Thy word is a lamp unto our feet, a light unto our pathway. I'm believing that your word is going to bring light unto your people, that it's going to reveal purpose. Abba Yahuwah, I am, I am not crazy enough to believe that in and of myself, I can say or do anything that's going to bring anything that is of value apart from you having given me your Torah and your Ruach HaKodesh. Abba, I praise you right now for an opportunity just to stand before your presence and submit myself to you and for your service. Abba, your Ruach, without you I would be nothing and less than nothing. But with you in me, I am a son of Yahuwah. I am an anointed son. I thank you for calling me from birth, from my mother's womb, putting in me this call, this chosen time. I mean, who I give you praise. I bind principalities and powers, dominions and darknesses, spiritual wickednesses in high places. I come against every unclean ruach, every perverse ruach, every ruach of witchcraft and divination. I bind you. I command you to cease in your maneuvers and activities. In the name of Yahushua Mashiach, over those that you who have chosen, over those that you who have chosen and sanctified, I will Yahuwah obey your word, go forth in demonstration and power. Hatha Khan, demons, devil, take your hands out the people of Yahuwah. I know I have the keys of the kingdom of the Shamayim. I know that whatever I bind on earth is bound in heaven because he's told me it and I believe it in Amu now. And I know that he honors it in the Shamayim as it's spoken in the erect. So take your hands off the people that Yahuwah has chosen. In the name of Yahushua Hamashiach. Abba Yahuwah, I praise you, I magnify you, I glorify you, I worship you, I adore you. Abba, I thank you for freedom, liberty, sanctification, righteousness. I thank you, Yahuwah, for a Torah, Basora. Abba, I praise you right now in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach for the Mishpaka. Abba, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. In the name of Yahushua Hamashiach. Hallelujah. Listen. You better get in this way. You better understand that everything that Yahuwah has brought to us and has given us is connected to the witness. It's connected to this, this, this water, this, this, this blood. And this Ruach HaKodesh, and apart from these, listen, you ain't going to get nothing from you. You are not going to receive anything from you. You got to understand this witness is everything. You got to understand this witness is everything. You know, you know, I, I did the Shabbat lesson, right? The Shabbat lesson, right? And in the Shabbat lesson, the word that Yahuwah gave me, right, 
was baptism unto death is meaningless without the baptism unto life. Right? This is wonderful teaching. And the, the water, the, the blood, and the, the resurrection, the, the power of you, right? And you know, you know, you know, you know, um, baptism, death, burial, resurrection. That's what it was. And you know, Yahuwah just revealed so much in that word to me. Right? So much in that word to me. And I understand, right? I have a understanding in the Ruach of Yahuwah of the value that this witness holds. The power of agreement set forth in the Shamaim by Yahuwah himself. Yahuwah himself bears witness to Yahushua HaMashiach and the Shamaim. Him, the Word, the Ruach HaKodesh testifies, consents to, puts approval on the witness. Being born again of the water the blood of the Ruach HaKodesh. And you know, you know, you know, you know. You can't have one without the other. You can't have one without the other. You can't have a baptism. What? Without an atonement. You can't have a baptism. Without an atonement. You can have a baptism. Without an atonement. But without an atonement and without the Ruach HaKadosh, it's meaningless. <laughs> if Yahuwah felt that all you needed to do was wash, he would have never set forth the need for an atonement, blood, right? And the new life that comes. By the Ruach HaKodesh in us. If it was just all about the baptism, then everything that we have received from the inception of Yahuwah's revelatory word would focus strictly on baptism. Every witness right, would hold true to witness prophets, uh, the law of the prophets, all of them, would bear witness to water baptism being the source of your yeshua. Is it necessary? Oh yeah it is, because the father Abba, right, Set his approval on what Yahusha had done by demonstration. He came to Yuganah. He came to Yuganah and, and Yuganah said, listen, 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 listen. Yahusha, listen, listen, I'm not worthy. Okay, I, I'm not worthy to baptize you. I'm not even worthy to take your shoes off and then unloosen the latches. Right? Yahushua said to him, listen, man, this is, this is about the fulfillment of the witness. This is about Torah's bearing record. We got to do this. Got to do this, because this. This is a witness. This witness references an act that the high priest had to perform. They had to wash before they could go in to provide an atonement. See, and I need this demonstration 
right? The same demonstration that you have laid forth declaring unto people that they must wash, be baptized for the remission of their sins. You know, I don't have any sin children. But see, things are all things must be fulfilled. Torah cannot be left incomplete. Yahuwah said his, his approval on that demonstration. Right. Yahuwah didn't concede it. He took Yahushua into the water. He baptized Yahushua. Yahushua came up out of the water. And the scriptures declared that the Ruach HaKodesh descended upon him and lighted upon him, made his abode on him, in him. Right? The Ruach HaKodesh. And then Yahuwah said, spoke a Torah from his mouth. Right? This is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. The witnesses in the Shamayim. This, 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 this record is digital. This record is, is supernatural. This record is in the Shamayim. If it was enough for it just to bend the water, and then the demonstration, the witnesses, would focus strictly on the water. But see, there was a need to wash away the filth. You know, and historically, we knew that our people, before they presented themselves to the Most High, they needed to wash. They needed to remove the filth from their bodies, their physical bodies. Right? They need to put off the dead filth. You know, every time you wash, right, you, you literally cleanse the body of dead cells. You wash the body. It's a healthy thing to cleanse the body. If you don't cleanse the body, the body becomes successful to disease, infections. It's necessary to wash, but it wasn't a complete process. It was just a part of the process. Most important, Mark said it was unto death. Everything died in water. Mark alluded to the deluge that came upon the world, but saved Noah and his three sons and their wives. This, 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 this death, this cleansing. Because Yahushua was, Yahuwah was tired. He was, he had, he, he had grown um, 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 weary of this wicked diabolicalness of man. And it repented him that he made it. So he just had to just clean out. And that water, that water, that water symbolized this this death that had to be dealt with and had to be purged. Had to be cleansed. At that time you had all kinds of hybrids and, and all kinds of sorcery and divination. You had giants, Nephilim, and, and you had these 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 these, these Wicked, diabolical creations, man. These are hybrids. 
good said it's got to be put to death. It has to be cleansed. That process was necessary. It was the first witness. Cleansing of the wretch with water, eliminating the death. But the water in and of itself was not enough, right? Because there had to be an atonement. There had to be, and it said blood shed. Right? And it said blood. And Yahuwah sufficed the blood of bulls and, and goats and, and lambs and rams and all of these other, these, 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 these animals that he allowed to, to, to stand in the place of until he sent his son. Baptism. The lose. Listen, 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 listen. You better listen to that. That message, that message, that mark. That message, that message, that message. Baptism, death, burial, and resurrection. Listen to that. That's uh, that's that's a powerful message. Anyway, it's not enough to just have one witness. Right? You who were established in the mouth of two or three witnesses. Everything is to be established. This whole this whole idea of you know, I don't have to do this, but I can do that. I don't really need that demonstration, right? When you by his word and his rule of Akodesh, put his approval on this witness. The water. And then, 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 then we have the blood, right? The blood that had to atone. The blood that Noah had to offer up once the waters receded and the arks landed on the land. He commenced to allow and release the animal but he held back those that were necessary for sacrifice. Then he built an altar. He offered up atonement, innocent blood for the world. Blood. Two elements to this witness that are extremely important, but in their standing alone, meaningless. It's meaningless to sacrifice innocent blood when you haven't washed, when you haven't put off death. When you haven't ceremonially washed. You can't bypass the blood. And say you've washed. Because the blood is necessary for the toning of the things that you have done in your past. Though you can wash the filth off, 
it can become a part of this death. See, Yahusha came that we might have Zoe. That's the Greek word for life or the Greek word for the Aloha kind of life. That word that indicates that there is a life that has got to come from Yahuwah in order to give you life. to sprinkle clean water on you. And Ezekiel 36 says, Sprinkle clean water. See, this process, this process has to meet all of the criteria. He said, I will sprinkle clean water. Right? Upon you. And you shall be cleansed from your what? Filth. See, there's some of y'all that, 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 that has participated in a baptism without knowledge in the Christian church, right? You know, you, you just did it, right? It wasn't meaningful to you, right? right? There was nothing that preceded it. You went down a dry center and came up a wet center. There was no real change. There's no indication by your demonstration following this baptism that there was ever anything different about you. Because, see, you know, you received a baptism. Right? You might have even thought that this blood atonement that you received, when well, you were received, you received. But see, that thing that changes you is his seed in you. The Ruach HaKodesh, the baptism unto life. You who would sprinkle clean water. You can't separate these three. Now here Yahuwah is testifying to the demonstration of the fullness of this witness through the prophet Ezekiel. He says, Then will I sprinkle clean water on you, and you should be cleansed from your filthiness and from your idolatry. Will I cleanse you? Right? He says, And I and a new heart of flesh and a new ruach will I put within you, and you sh and I and I will take away the stony heart out of your flesh and give you a heart of flesh. See, that's a process that Yahusha, Yahuwah does through the blood of Yahusha. Right? Right, 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 right. Then he says, I will put my Ruach HaKodesh within you. The witness. The heart is cleansed through the atonement.
Because if the heart is not cleansed by the atoning blood, right, there is no way that Yahuwah is going to release his Ruach HaKodesh to inhabit that temple. Only those who have been washed and who the blood of Yahusha has been applied. He says here, a new heart. He said, I'll put my Ruach HaKodesh, verse 27 of that 36th chapter. And I will cause you to walk in my statutes. See, because you're going to have the Alua kind of life. See, see, who was referencing this witness? He's referencing this witness. Um, uh, Genesis. What was it actually? What was it Deuteronomy? It's Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Mm. Let me see. Oh. It talks about the mouth of two or three witnesses. Because I believe in being Deuteronomy 1915. It says, One witness shall not rise up against the man. You can't base this on one witness. You who was established this from Genesis to Revelation. This, this witness, right? He says, one witness shall not rise up against the man for any iniquity or for any sin. In any sin that he sinneth at the mouth of two witnesses or at the mouth of three Witnesses shall a matter be established. Yahusha. In Matthew the eighteenth chapter. If thy brother trespass against thee, go and tell him his fault, thee and him alone. If he hears you, thou hast gained a brother. 
But if you will not hear, you then take two, take one, or two more. That in the mouth of two or three witnesses, that every word be established. See, now the key is, is that the testimony, the witness, the, 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 the spoken verification, the need for confirmation has to always come by two or three. Yahoo is confirmed. Yahoo is confirmed. He is verified. Right. This witness. And without this witness in its totality, this demonstration of the water, the blood, and the Ruach Odesh, Meaningless, incomplete. See, and you know, you know, why would you go against the record of you? You know, why would you go against the demonstration that was exhibited by Noah? Why, why, why? why would you go against that which Moshe had demonstrated with Aaron and the priesthood? An offering up of sacrifice, the need for the people to wash, the demonstration of Yahuwah giving his Ruach on leaders. Why would you allow yourself to skip, to take an incomplete path? I don't believe in, 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 in Yahushua. I believe in the Torah. I believe I got to get no water. You would demonstrate it. You would say it's just going to sprinkle clean water. See, you know, you know, you think people. You know, you know, when you when you when you look at it from a natural sense, you look at you you gonna wait for Yahuwah to do something to you that he's giving people the responsibility to do. He says, I will put my ruach akodesh and cause you to walk in my statutes and keep my judgments and do. Wash the earth with the dolphins. There was a need for an atonement. An obedience in that atonement. Right? But as we progress, we understand that you puts his ruach upon men that he shows and I would to give his ruach to people. This witness. First, you hook it on. For there are three that bear record in the Shamayim. Father Abba, the word Torah, the word made flesh, the word spoken from you with mouth. This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased. That's a Torah because it came out of this. <laughs> the everlasting spoken Torah that was spoken by the prophets. Spoken out of the mouth of Yahuwah to these prophets to declare unto you. And the Ruach HaGodesh. Ruach HaGodesh. Ruach HaGodesh. Ruach HaGodesh demonstration. What's the completion of? 
fulfilled in other words. This is sick as you see. You know, he went and washed. Then he received the royal hag of death because he was already righteous. Yahushua didn't have to repent for no sins. He hadn't. He didn't have to wash uh, off. He didn't have to wash off his sins. He had in obedience to Torah's demonstration as a high priest after the order of Melchizedek. He had to be washed. See, who could I do? You? Following the order that was demonstrated of which the Pharisees that came to witness and to question did we possess. They uh, say, hey, hey, who, 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 who's warned you to escape the wrath to come? demonstration has come in the mouth of two, three, four, five witnesses, but you have to have an eye to see and a ear to hear. He said, and there are three that bear witness in the earth. witness they bear witness to they bear witness let's do this Mary Webster's definition of the of witness as testation of a fact or an event. Attestation. Something that you have witnessed. Right? Your demonstration, it reveals that it's a fact. So, you know, some, you know, some of you other. Uh, uh, got in the water, but you know, there's no testation to the uh, facts or the events of Hamashiach Yahusha having made the change in your life. There's no record. No demonstration that in you there's a testation to. Again, we just sing that song in the, in the Baptist church. The things I used to do, I don't do no more. No, we said that. We used to, they used to testify to it like this. You know, the things I used to do, I think, I thank God I don't do no more. Things I used to go, I don't go no more. Um, the testament of that, that, that testation, was it accurate? Because that demonstration of the effects and the events of the witness, right? The rule of that's the water and the blood is not manifested. 
one that gives evidence, you shall receive power. After that, the Ruach HaKadosh has come upon you. Evidence. These signs shall follow you because you believe in this witness. You bear witness to attestation to the change that has occurred as a result of the water, the blood, and the Ruach HaKadosh. Change this. Change this. Manifest it. Change that comes as a result of this witness. Because see, you know what? You are testation of the fact and the events of the resurrected Hamashiach. You are testation to the facts and the events that brought about that change in you so that now, behold, beloved, you are the son of Yahuwah. You are the daughter of Yahuwah. You give evidence to that. You will lay hands on the sick and they recover. You cast out devils. You speak with new tongues. You drink deadly things, you eat deadly things, and they don't hurt you. Listen, listen, listen. I'm sure I probably should have been dead. I'm sure. Some of the stuff that I've ate, some of the stuff that I've consumed, I'm sure it had something in it. Well, they've been G O. And in bioengineering foods and stuff and doing things since the 60s. Actually, I think the early 50s, 60s. Bioengineering, we ain't heard nothing about GMOs and all that stuff until the last five years. So whatever they've genetically modified and done, whatever they pumped into us, listen, it is because of his Ruach HaKodesh, this witness that we bear in our body, that we declare that nothing shall by any means harm us. We shall take up serpents, and if we drink any deadly thing, it will not harm us. Why? Because we're a testation of the fact or evidence that Hamashiach Yahushua is risen and is alive and his Ruach, Yahuwah's Ruach HaKodesh is in us, him and the Father. One asked to be present at a transaction, transaction so as to be able to testify to it having taken place. Hallelujah. I testify to the fact that I've been born to get in the water of Ruach Kakudesh. Hallelujah. I bear in my body, in my belly, the Ruach Kakudesh, of which flows rivers of living water. Hallelujah. See, I can boldly declare that no weapon turned against me prosperous. And every tongue that rises up against me in judgment, I shall condemn. Because this is the heritage of the children of Yahuwah. It's their righteousness, which is of he. Say of Yahuwah. Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. Who should ask me to go? To be a witness. My demonstration to be a reflection of that which I've received in Hamashiach Yahushua. And Yahushua is not a respected person. 
He doesn't. He 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 has come to bring this righteousness, this power of witness, this changed life to Yasharal and Yahuda. But listen, he do not withhold anything from these other nations that want to prove this witness, who wants to receive this witness, and who walk in this demonstration. I don't care what any of y'all say. I really don't. Listen, I love the nation of Yasharal. I love Yasharal Yahuda, the northern kingdom and the southern kingdom. I love them on the continent of Africa, scattered throughout the four corners of the earth. I love my people. But Yahusha has sheep that are not of this fold. Yahusha has those that are of the other nation which he has chosen to receive this witness. One who has personal knowledge of something. The witness. A witness is one who has personal knowledge of something. Thy word have I hid in my heart. <laughs> that I might not sit against thee. I have a Torah. A besorer of truth that comes with power. And the Zeusia and Dunamo. I have keys and authority to the Shamayim, right? I have personal knowledge of what it takes to receive this witness. And my demonstration is to bring this information to you. Hear ye, hear ye, hear ye. Everyone that is under the sound of my voice, you must be born again of the water, the blood, and the Ruach HaKodesh. You must be born again. Well, you know, I, I believe in baptism and I believe in, 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 in atonement, but you know that, that Ruach HaKodesh. Oops, oops, you done. You can't believe in the power of Yahuwah to, 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 to make you alive. You still dead. See, that's why. That's why this witness is a complete system. It's complete. Right? It's complete. Listen, listen. It's complete. The scripture says these three agree. They are one. The definition of Mary and Webster of agree is to concur. Something such as an opinion to admit to, to concede to. To consent to as a course of action. Yahuwah, the word and the Ruach HaKodesh consented to Yahushua Mashiach by his obedience walking and being, being baptized by Yahuwah setting his verbal approval on him in the word and by the Ruach HaKodesh coming and lighting upon him. They agreed. Yahuwah didn't speak a word and the Ruach HaKodesh said, well, you know, I ain't going. I ain't doing it. <laughs> oh, man, listen. If two of you shall agree on earth as touching anything you ask of Abba, it'll be doing, you know, I, I praise you right now. I give you all the praise right now, I'm telling you. I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm grateful um, that my wife recently Accepted the witness, right? 
got in the water, baptized her. I had to, I had the privilege of baptizing her, right? Baptized, never pushed her to it, right? Just demonstration, just being that demonstration. Out of the blue, she says to me, um, on, on our vacation, I, I, I want you to baptize. I was surprised. But, you know, I, I mean, I trusted you. Right? I mean, there were times, and, and actually I have a, I have a, 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 a an Akoti. Right? An Akoti um, that um, said she was going to agree with me. I, and I'm not really big on on uh, uh, mentioning um, people in that respect, right? Um, unless you know, I I just you know. But Koti, right? Uh, her name is Lynn Villanueva, right? She had messaged me. I prayed with her, right? Um, she shared some things. You know, we had similar situations. And she said, let's pray that our spouses uh, receive the witness. Right? I'm like, D let's done. Right? Now, my ark, my ark, my ark, uh, um, all of my ark, actually, Yaakov, Benzion, Gaal, Ezra, Yahoo got all, uh, Raphael, Yahoo got all, and, 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 uh, as Eliezer, Yahoo got all, right? All the brothers got together, because, you know, it's going to peace out. You know, and, uh, you know, I, I, my wife wasn't coming. And my ox said, we gonna pray that, you know, the most high troubles her heart and brings her to a conviction that she needs to be with you. She needs to get in this water. <laughs> I'm like, well, hallelujah. I agree. We all agreed. I got a sister that agreed. What did you do? He demonstrated the power that is available to us if we agree. It's just still just the same demonstration. In the mouth of two or three witnesses. And here you know, they had the opportunity to see my wife baptized. As well as you did, because I posted it. Right. It's a very, very, very I don't want to say proud moment. It, it's a it was a, a, a moment in which I praised Jehovah, and there was a connection and agreement now. Because how could two walk together except they agree? How can you demonstrate the witness of Yahuwah incomplete? You can't agree with the witness in the Shamaim. Right? You can't agree with the witness in the Shamaim. How can how, how can two walk together except they agree? How can you serve two masters? You gonna either love one or hate the other. My wife chose to love Yahuwah. She chose to receive the witness of Yahushua. To be born again of the water of the Ruach HaGodesh. Agree. 
That demonstration is complete. So you want to put a thousand on the flight. Two, put ten thousand on the flight. And I'm praying for my sister, Lynn. Because she rejoiced with me. Right? She rejoiced with me, man. And I know from the sincereness of her heart she did. Listen, y'all don't hear me. Yeah, who is good? His mercy does forever. But you know, my witness, my demonstration is you. That's what she sees. My wife is Yahushua. And sometimes in the sternness of a word, she knows it's Yahushua. She knows. She's got to grow. She's got to develop in the word. She has to mature in this Basur and this Torah, right? She has to be led by the Ruach HaGodesh of you. And I prayed and laid hands on her for her to receive the Ruach HaGodesh. Uh, Peter and John went up to Samaria after Philip had preached the, the Basura. And the people were converted, and it was it was it was noise to broad all the way to Jerusalem, to the point where Yehuchanan and Peter were designated to go and to check on these people and see how it was. And when they got there, they realized these people were joyous, and they had were they were received they had received the baptism water, they had received the blood the atonement. But they needed the seal, and they laid their hands on them that they may receive the Ruach HaKodesh. I'll tell you that is witness. It's incomplete. Without all three. Right? Agree. To settle on by common consent. Say we consent to. Attestation. Attestation. One who has attestation bears a fact. Bears attestation of a fact or an event. A testimony. <laughs> Give evidence. We give evidence. See, the fact that you keep his statutes and you walk in his judgments is evidence. The signs that follow you because you believe is the evidence. You who's helping somebody right now? I know he is. Right? Now, and there are three that bear witness in the arrests. The Ruach HaGodesh, the water, and the blood. And these three agree in one. They ain't divided. The three are a single functioning, all inclusive uh, 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 power in you. If you foresee the witness. Well, you know, I, I, I don't believe I need to be baptized. Cornelius wasn't baptized, but he received the rule of God. Okay. Was you fasting and praying like Cornelius? Right? And did Cornelius hear the word and at the sound of the word of Yahuwah receive the Ruach HaKodesh? What did, what did, Yahuwah, what did uh, Peter say? 
Oh man, listen, we got to baptize these. What, what, what forbids, what prevents us from baptizing them? And you know what they did? Straightway baptized them. See, you know, understand this, right? Yahuwah's demonstration is complete demonstration. Right? Right? That's the complete demonstration. Yahuwah was just demonstrating that he can do it with them and for them. But you, Peter didn't say, well, you know, man, they got the rule out of our now. We don't need to baptize. Huh? No, he didn't say that. He said, what forbids us now from baptizing them? We got to baptize them straight away. Because they have to let the death, they have to get in the water. They have to be cleansed. They received the atonement. Because you had to receive the atonement in order to receive the Ruach HaGodesh. Ladies and gentlemen, Baptist Church. Now, baptism is just a sign to the world. No. Hebraic culture, it was an act of performing cleansing physically. Your body. Spiritually. Your sense. There's duality there. Dual purpose. See, because Yahuwah had to deal with them in a natural sense that pointed to a spiritual, supernatural event. The blood of goats and calves couldn't do it, but it provided a covering until Yahushua Mashiach at the appointed time would come. And then we who received baptism, right? The Ruach HaKodesh, the blood, we become testaments, testators, providing testimonies, testimonies that come with the demonstration because our testimony is Torah and Torah comes with power. Ruach HaKodesh. Yahushua said in Yuhukanon 7 and 38, He that believeth on me, as the scripture have said, out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. But of this spake he of the Ruach HaKodesh, which they that believe on him should receive. For the Ruach HaKodesh was not yet given because Yahushua was not yet glorified, raised from the dead. His blood was shed. As the high priest, he went into the Shamaim and to the temples not made by hand and delivered his blood before Yahuwah. As a high priest forever after the order of Melchizedek, on behalf of his kinsmen. Right. He'll be glorified, right? You look at uh, three. And there was a man of the Pharisees named Nicodemus, a ruler of the Yahudim. He was a Pharisee and he was a ruler. He held a, a political position amongst the Yahudim, right? The same came to Yahushua by night and said unto him, Rabbi, we know that thou art a teacher come from Elua, right? 
For no man can do these miracles that thou doest except the Lord be with him. Your witness. It's his witness. Your demonstration should be Yahushua's demonstration. Your witness should typify what Yahushua's witness. Okay, that is why. This why. This why we 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 are stuck on stupid, right? You know, we trying to we trying to be established in this witness without having the water, the blood, and the ruach hakodesh, right? Without having the evidence of the demonstration that Yahushua had, so that men would say concerning us. I know that thou art sent, teacher, come from Alua, for no man can do these miracles that they do except you who is with them. The witness. Well, you know, you, you just run around here with the blood. I mean, just water, run around here with the water. Run around here with, with the blood. Without the Ruach HaKadosh, you ain't doing no miracle. You ain't, you ain't demonstrating, you, you, you're not, you're not walking in an approved demonstration. You have to have his Ruach HaKodesh. They testify on the Eretz. Your demonstration testifies on the Eretz. The Ruach HaKodesh, the water and the blood, testifies on the earth, right? What's the testimony? It's the demonstration of the power that you put forth in bringing a witness that is going to cause someone else to be healed, to be delivered, to have demons casted out, to have uh, the, 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 the confession that Yahushua HaMashiach is a kinsman redeemer, that Yahushua HaMashiach is a savior to the Gentiles. Yahushua answered and said unto him, Verily, verily, I say unto thee, Except a man be born again. Enter into these waters. <laughs> you know, baby, and he's in the womb. It's encapsulated by waters. Yahushua is awesome, baby. <laughs> You who has witnesses and demonstration in natural life and in spiritual life that coincides with the witness of Yahuwah through the Ruach HaKodesh, the water and the blood. You who said, except a man be born again, he cannot see. The kingdom is showing. Listen, you got you, you got a bunch of folk out here ain't that don't see the kingdom. You got people out here that don't see the kingdom. They do not see the kingdom. He says here, Nicodemus said unto him, How can a man be born when he is old? Can he enter in time, enter, enter the second time in his mother's womb and be born? You who said, said very, very truly, truly, I said to you, except a man be born of the water and of the Ruach HaKodesh, he cannot enter to the kingdom of you. Why, why you got that wash? Why you have to receive his Ruach HaKodesh? Because see, if you wash, right, and you receive his Ruach HaKodesh, that's a confirmation that the blood of Yusha has been applied. You can now have access into the kingdom. He said, that which is born of the flesh is flesh, but that which is born of the spirit is spirit. See, there's a birth of the flesh, a baptism in water, an immersion in the womb, 
And when that when that baby comes forth, when it breaches, right, the cavity, right, and he makes his way out, right, he comes forth out of water. Of necessity, the water has to break in order for him to come out. You have to have the water wash before you can come out. You who gonna first you gonna He says if we receive the witness of men Let me go back up to eight. And there are three that bear witness in the arrests. The Ruach Akodesh, the water, and the blood. These three agree as one. And if we receive us, the witness of men, the preached witness of Yahushua Hamashiach to men, right? If we receive this witness, the witness of Yahuwah is greater. For this is the witness of Yahuwah, which is which he testified of his son. So we receive the witness. You, you receive a witness from me. See, well, Yahuwah has already testified to Yahushua Mashiach. He testified to Yahushua Mashiach in the garden. When he told Hasatan, the see the woman should bruise thy head, and you should bruise his heel. Yahuwah's demonstration throughout the original covenant into the renewed covenant to the establishment of Yushu Mashiach in physical form. Yahuwah had declared it by witnesses more than two or three. It's greater than my witness because my witness is just my witness based on my having received what Yahusha has done. It's just one witness. But it's a witness that is three, three in me. The water of blood rule, I got my death. But I'm one witness. Yahuwah's witness is greater because Yahusha has demonstrated over the entire scope of things. Yahusha Hamashiach's witness. He says. And he have testified of his son. He that believeth on the son of Elua have the witness in himself. Believe on the son of Yahushua. And again, this belief on the son it comes as a result of being baptized, receiving his atonement, and having his Ruach HaKodesh. That's what he means when he says believe. He ain't just talking about you just believe. Oh, I believe I've been baptized. I believe in the son of Yahushua. Your witness is incomplete. Have you received his blood that atones for your sin? Yeah, I received his blood. Have you received the Ruach HaKodesh, the demonstration of power, since you believe? No. Did you ask him for it? No. Guess what? You short. Paul had seven men preaching the baptism of Yukonah. I heard him preach the word. Pull them aside. Say, listen, 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 man. Uh, he, the witness of Yusha Mashiach, have you, you received that? Oh, no, we ain't really heard about that. Listen, listen. listen. You need to hear this. Boom, they heard that. You need to be filled with the Ruah HaGodesh. He laid hands on Their witness was incomplete. Their witness was incomplete. He that believeth on the Son of Elua had the witness in himself. He that believeth not on the Lua have made him a liar. Right? You lie. Because there's too many demonstrations of his witness. So you're saying he's a liar, but he's demonstrated by the mother two or three witnesses, 
and the revelation of Yahushua Mashiach's fulfillment of his witnesses, he's making him out to be a lie. I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I, I'll never say I don't believe you. Okay, I mean, you don't believe his witness. You, know, you don't believe his witness. You don't believe him. His witnesses, his word, his Torah. His Torah's been handed down. The mouths of the prophets. They've testified to the coming of Mashiach. Yahushua said, I mean, uh, Isaiah said, who has believed our report and to whom, whom the drama of Yahuwah been revealed? He was speaking of Yahushua Mashiach, right? But you don't believe the report. That's a witness. That's one witness. That's, that's Isaiah. You make him out to be a liar. Because he believeth not the record. record. Don't believe the record. That Greek word for record. Strong's G 3141 Martoria. 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 Right? Test I testify. The office committed to the prophets of testifying concerning future events. You don't believe the report. You don't believe the report. You don't believe the report. Because he believed not the record, he believed not the record that Alua gave his only son. He didn't believe the record. And this is the record that Alua has given to us eternal life. He's given us Zoe. That life is the Zoe kind of life. The L kind of life. Yahuwah and Yahusha in you. Hmm. Yahuwah and Yahusha in you. You can on the 14th chapter. And I will pray Abba and he will give you another comforter that he may abide with you forever. Even the Ruach HaKodesh of truth whom the world can't receive because it sees him not, neither know him, but ye know him because for he dwelleth with you in me and shall be in you on the day of Pentecost and before that time when I lay hands on you and you will see the Ruach HaKodesh. He says, I will not leave you comfortless. I will come to you. Yet a little while in the world see me no more, but ye see me because I live, ye shall also live. And at that day ye shall know that I am in my Father and ye in me and I in you. In that day, ye shall know that I in my Father, and ye in me, and I in you, you and me, me and you, you and me, me and you. He that hath my commandments and keep them, he it is that loveth me, and he that loveth me shall be loved of my Abba. And I will love him and manifest myself, right? And you, and, and 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 Judas is scared. And you and Judas, not a, Judas said unto him, not as scary as I don't know how is it that thou shalt manifest thyself to me. And he says, he says, parents. Um, he says, let's jump down to verse twenty-six. But the Ruach Hakodesh, which is the Ruach Hakodesh, the Comforter, the Ruach Hakodesh, the Comforter, which is the Ruach Hakodesh whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, right? Whatsoever I say unto you, right? Peace I leave with you, my peace I give unto you, not as the world giveth, 
give I unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither be afraid. My father and I will make our abode with you. Oh, yeah. Verse 23. Yahushua said unto him, If a man love me and keep my words, my, my words and my father will love him, and we will come unto him and make our abode in him. By the rule of Abolition. Make his abode in us. By the rule of Abolition. And this is the record that Elua hath given unto us eternal life. Zoe. Yahushua and Yahuwah making their abode in us, the Comforter, which is the Ruach HaKodesh. Yahushua said you must be born again the water of the Ruach HaKodesh. You ain't complete if it's just the baptism. You ain't complete if you're just talking about an atonement. You gotta have the Ruach HaKodesh of life. And this is the life and this life is in his son, in the witness. The life is in the witness. The life is in the witness, in his son. His son is the witness. He that hath the son hath life. Again, that's Zoe. Abba in you, you, Yahushua in you, the comforter in you, the Ruach HaKodesh in you. And he that hath not the son of Elua hath not life. Man, if y'all woman, if y'all listen, understand this witness. This witness is life. Right? And this witness agrees. Your demonstration is an agreement to the witness. If you're born again of the water and of the Ruach Agodesh. You, 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 you ain't saved in baptism. Baptism is a necessary part of the agreement. The blood is a necessary a part of the agreement. Having received the Ruach HaGodesh is a necessary part of the agreement. The covenant. The witness. I'm a Yahuwah. In the name of Yahushua Mashiach, I give you praise for your Torah and your Besor of truth. I thank you that your word is a lamp to our feet and a light into our pathway. The entrance of your word gives us life, gives understanding to the simple. I, I praise you that my ways are cleansed because I take heed to your word. Your word is, is truth. Your word is truth. I'm a Yahuwah. In the name of Yahushua Mashiach, your word was made flesh. Your word is alive in us. It is written in our hearts. We keep your statutes and your judgments, Abba Yahuwah, because we bear the witnesses that agree, the Ruach HaKodesh, the water and the blood, and you have agreed, and your agreement is greater. Your witness is greater. You, your word, and the Ruach HaKodesh, all that you have demonstrated in Torah, in the Basorah, that brought about the completion, the fulfillment of Hamashiach Yahushua. You're complete. I, I pray that in the name of Yahushua Hamashiach, everyone's under my sound of my voice and hear this word, that they would be strengthened and encouraged and that they would be complete. I will let the words of my mouth and meditation of my heart be acceptable in thy sight. Yahuwah, my strength and my redeemer. Man of Yah called the greatness, woman of Yahuwah called the greatness, beautifully wonderfully made today, you his favorite you. It's about the agreeing three. The Ruach HaKodesh, the water and the blood. They agree. Abba Yehu. The mouth of two or three witnesses. Let everything be established. The Ruach Yehu, the word, the Ruach HaKodesh. Anything else is incomplete. That I say. Shalom, shalom, shalom. Man of the hour, woman of the hour.
and be blessed. Torah Garden, speaking the absolute truth. Torah.